here at the Langley Event Center in beautiful but snowy British Columbia, where, yes, we have women's volleyball in the Canada West, and this an interesting one. Great serve, though. Harder with the ball across. Thompson backpedaling, gets the set off. Kern taken out, so the setter taken out. Second ball from Harder. Here's McGilvery, looking to aggressively set that one down the line. Picked up, though, by Pratt. Kern over to the power side. That one was a tough ball for Campman. Still gets it across, and the Bobcats scramble. Now this Spartan's able to run in system. It's Kaylee Ploof out of the middle. She already has kills from the right side. This time the middle, Ploof and the Spartans score. So with Ploof serving, it's now harder up front. Scramble on the Bobcats side. It'll be a point for the Spartans after a tough serve that can provide lots of experience. Kaylee Ploof, who played in the national final last year, getting this ball across. Tamar Bill on the first contact. Going down the line hard is Bolden, an aggressive swing. And the left side, going to work once again. This time, cuts it across to the far side. Kern, from the three-meter line, makes this set. And Bolden once again, again and again and again, Bolden on that rally and scores the point. Offense will be run out of the back row with Thompson back to serve this ball. Oh Here's boy. Ploof to finish things off. Kill number six for Kaylee Pru uh, Ploof. And Trinity Western will take the opening set 25 to 21. And uh, you just got to do what you do every day, every game, and don't worry about the other side. Here's Kern, left side attack by Bolden, pops up close to the net right off of the tape and taken shallow by McBain, the libero. She'll now backpedal, trying to get back into position. The block's going to go up, though, and the Spartans will score. It was a combination of Bolden and Plouffe. Let's see if Brandon can clean up some of that as they're going up against the number three team in the country, Trinity Western, and number three, Marin Bolden, making the attack. Here's Ramsey, hooking that cross court. McGilvery oh, from the oh, back oh, row scores. Getting that off the hands of Johnson and out. Or what? It was Erica Bang and her teammates I going did. around. So they were excited about that one. Here's a right side attack by Hildebrand, tipping this over. Here's Kern, the center, going over to Bolden, sending that through the block and scores. Yeah, great thing, that through the block. Thompson with the pass, going over to Ramsey, slowed up by the block at the net. Here's Harder, getting on top of that one. Still, a block was in the way, but Harder gets the best of it. On its Ramsey, who has one service error tonight, no aces, gets this ball across to McBain, the libero. Ooh. On top of that one was Bolden, who picks up another kill. It's been the ploof story for the most part. So Spartan still with their setter in the back row, and this is going to be Bolden. Here's Johnson. Combination of McGilvery and Harder putting up the block for Trinity Western. Trinity Western up by 10. Thompson. There's Dyer. It's a solo block by Plouffe. Now two blockers over, and the combination for the Spartans will get the job done. The left side attack for the Bobcats. McBain, part of the serve received for Trinity Western. McBain, nice pass going to Kern. And there's Bolden. An aggressive take two blockers up, and she hits that off the block and out. Kern, middle attack by Harder, and that will do it. It was the Spartans' middle attack that ended the first set. It's a Spartans' middle attack that ends the second. Set her to trust each other and keep it going. Berger going to camp in a bit too much on that pass, so Kern had to send it over on second contact. Here's Bolden. <laughs> nice cross-court swing taking Stott to the ground. Yeah, I mean, you know, so they have these things in volleyball where they have these heat charts which just shows all your attacks where you hit the ball, and... Man, her shot chart, her heat chart is just kind of going to be everywhere. Block going up, and there's Erica Bang. You don't say that too often. We don't see a lot of Erica Bang out there on the floor, but it's almost even more frustrating in that sense. So I think Hofer just probably said, hey, like, we're not playing that well, so we're just going to go anyways and see how these young players can give us a spark. And there's, oh, great swing, but great dig. Nice dig in the back by Berger, and the Bobcats still alive, but it'll be the Spartans going to the attack here out of system. Marin Bolden has that come oh back over, and Bolden yeah. sends this over. Back onto the Bobcat side, backpedaling was Pratt. Here's Ramsey. Kern pushes it forward, going over to Bolden. Out of system, Ramsey oh. still able to make an attack. One foot too far, however. Oh. An aggressive take by the Bobcats, but ends an exciting rally. Erica Bang with her team up by one. Pratt sending over the free ball, picked up a game deep. 
Here's Plouffe stepping around. You know what? I brought up Plouffe because she's no longer <laughs> in the spotlight, but back-to-back -back kills here. You have a lot of court to work with, so you can drop that, but that ball can just drop when it wants to drop, so you have a little more wiggle room for error. Off the overpass, it's Kaylee Plouffe eating up that meal. At first pass, get this set off and run the offense. We're able to make something of it in system with Pickford setting it over on third touch. Campman sending it across. Pratt able to dig that up. And Berger passing this ball. Here's Plouffe tipping over top of the block. Libero diving forward. It's going to be the Bobcats called on the net, so Trinity Western will score. A mistake made by the visitors. Yeah. Thompson getting involved quickly is ball. Here's Campman from the left side. Hammers this one in to position six and drops that right before number six, Ramsey. Are they taking it? You know, those little things can make a big difference in the long run. Kern passes this one up to Campman, who scores in Campman. Pickford with her family watching, making the drive down from Penticton. Kern going over to Plouffe, works this through to score. Kaylee Plouffe picking up kill number 15, and the Spartans will improve with this straight sets win over the Brandon Bobcats.